Yo, what up guys? Welcome to another Anime Kingdom Discussion and Review. This one is on episode 4 of Tokyo Ghoul Route 8. And this episode was actually really good. I really liked it. It had a lot of action, a lot of crazy things going on. A lot of like, whoa, really? That's what it, you know? A lot of things learning and just things are starting to pick itself up. It's starting to heat up. Um, probably this is the beginning of the episode to make into more. It's starting to go better and better and better. That's what I think. And pretty much the episode starts off with Yoshitoku talking to Maru. Yoshitoku is being called back to the front lines because of the chairman. And he wants Maru to be his second in command. And from there, they're pretty much talking about Ogiri and Ao. And they need information so they can, you know, attack him, obviously. And that's where they send in Aman, Aman to go in to talk to the priest. The priest was... This is pretty much a ghoul, a rank SS ghoul, and they go into the ghoul prison that they have. And Aman already, he's already, you know, he has relations with um, the priest. Because before, when he was a kid, he was put in an orphanage. The priest pretty much adopted all of him and a couple other kids. And that's when Aman finds out that the priest actually ends up killing them all, eating them. And he's the only one that lived. And yeah, so they send him in to get information him and Akita but he doesn't get they don't end up getting any information but that is when Ogiri attacks and pretty much that is when like a huge amount of action coming on between you know the guards and Ogiri all fighting and that's also when the one-eyed ghoul like Kaneki the two that we saw before those two girls they sneak in I guess they're trying to look for someone I think they said their brother and that is when they find Juzo um, and that's pretty much they actually I guess they all knew each other before but that's going to be a fight it stops right there it doesn't show the fight but they're going to end up you know fighting which is going to be a pretty crazy fight um, also of course um, Shinohara is there and he puts on that armor thing that we saw last you know in the first episode and he's fighting Ayato and that's when Ayato figures out oh that's where you went because I'm guessing you know how the swords are the Quincy's are from being you know people um ghouls the armor is actually from ayato and toka's dad so that's pretty crazy actually i thought i thought it was like whoa really hmm. i wonder what the other one is because they're you know the other they had multiple armor two armors at least so that would be pretty interesting to learn about that but that fight it doesn't really show it cuts off there too um pretty much the thing they they went there for is when um Kaneki goes down and finds um, Shachi, I think, Mr. Shachi, he says. But he um, smells Rize on her and just knocks him back. And that's when a huge fight goes on between them. And Kaneki's just getting destroyed until he gets, like, pretty much punched through a wall. And that's when all of a sudden Kaneki starts, like, he, like, transforms even more. His tails, like, get armored and is like, got a half mask thing. It was pretty dang crazy. That's like, I was like, oh my gosh, I am hyped for the next episode. Because, yeah, things are just going crazy in that prison. There's going to be how many fights going on. And Kaneki getting beat up, but of course he's not down yet. He's turning, it looks like, even more of a badass. Can't wait to see what goes on with that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Animal Kingdom discussion and review. I don't really got much to say because... I pretty much said everything that happened in the episode, and I'm just excited for all of it to figure out, you know, what's going to happen with Kaneki. What is that new thing that he just pretty much transformed into? Um, what is? Why did they come for Shachi? Why is he, you know, attacking Kaneki like that? Is there, like, some? why would they send Kaneki to get him if this would happen kind of thing? You know, Eto is also there. It showed. And also, you know, what is up with um, Juzo and those two one-eyed ghouls and what's gonna happen with the Ayato Shinohara fight a lot of things going on and I forgot to mention also that Akita I just remembered that she got hurt from um forget what his name was Naki I think and um Aman and her are both you know gonna have to run out he's gonna have to carry her so that's another thing I'm wondering what's gonna happen that priest is, did he get out to what like there's so many things that have that happen in this episode and really just cannot wait for the next episode so you know if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything i missed please comment below we could talk about it and stuff because you know if i missed anything i really want to know things are starting to go crazy so much things 
And yeah, I cannot wait for the next episode. And you know, till next time, guys. See ya.